So thanks to this adorable little creature, I'm not allowed to play these anymore because it really freaks her out. So I've been doing a lot of my recording on this beast using MIDI. And then I end up with a whole bunch of MIDI notes I need to be able to get rid of. So instead of spending a month deleting a whole bunch of notes one by one, I'm going to show you how to use MIDI Transform to get rid of those unwanted notes very easily. All right, so here's the part that I just recorded. Doesn't sound bad, but I didn't play these notes and I want to get rid of them. So typically they're caused by vibrations or just playing style. So maybe the sensitivity settings are a little too sensitive. So even though you breathe on the pad and it's going to uh, trigger that note, but most of mine are because of vibration, especially with the ride. So if I zoom out here, I'm not playing the ride at all in this song, but I am crashing pretty hard on the crash that's mounted near the kit. So it's triggering those. These are easy to get rid of. I can just click on this and then it's going to highlight all of the notes or sorry, all of the uh, events for that particular note. And then I can hit delete and it will get rid of all of those. But the kick is really the problem. So you can see down here, there's a whole pile of uh, miss hits or ghost notes that I want to get rid of. And I could either go insane by shift clicking all of these, or I can use MIDI transform and I choose to use MIDI transform. So the first thing to do is just eyeball your notes that you want to get rid of so you can figure out the velocity. And these are all going to be under under 50 for sure because they're very light. So blue, yellow, sorry, blue, greenish colors are typically under 70, definitely. And then brown, dark reds, those are all going to be over 100. Now, since this is a crashy rock song, I'm not worried about getting rid of everything under 60. So go into functions, MIDI transform. I want to create a new transition set and basically this is just doing a search so this is going to allow me to say logic select any notes that are under a velocity of 60. So you get a bunch of other options here I'm not going to go into the rest of these but you can see velocity isn't listed here so you have to go into status and you have to set that to note so it knows what type of events to select. Now you've got your channel your pitch and your velocity so if I did just want to get rid of the kick I could set the pitch to be C1 and then that would only process the, um, the the kick drum because that's the note here, C1. So I just want to get rid of everything. So I'm going to leave pitch to all. I'm going to set velocity less than or equal to, let's just say 65. That's probably close enough. Mode, you can set this for whatever you want. So you can just apply the operations. You can apply and delete the unselected. So doing the reverse of this, or I could just delete the selected events or copy them and then apply the operation. So if I wanted to copy those notes to another track for whatever reason, I could do that. But I'm gonna leave this at delete selected events. I always do select only first so I can eyeball it. Uh, so select only, here you go. So you can see that all of those notes are highlighted. I'm just gonna scroll through quickly and eyeball this and make sure it's selecting all the ride notes except for this one because it's a little bit louder, <laughs> 69. Um, so that looks like it's good to go and then operate and they're gone. So now what I can do is I can save this as drum miss hits, eh. delete drum miss hits, rename, close this. Now if I undo what I just did, I'm going to unselect all these notes, zoom out here so you can see all these, and this will save you time for next time. So I can go into MIDI transform, delete drum miss hits, select and operate, and they are all gone. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.